Another shooting, another safe part of American life shattered by violence. A photograph was released today of 22-year-old Jake Roberts. He worked at a deli outside Portland, Oregon. Police say this is the person who opened fire on holiday shoppers at a mall, firing at families in the food court. He killed two people and then himself. Tonight, the shooter's family and his girlfriend are speaking out to ABC News. And here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. Chaos amidst the Christmas shopping rush. Lines of shoppers, even children, could be seen streaming out with their hands up while a shooter was still inside. A day later, police now say the gunman was 22-year-old Jacob Tyler Roberts, a young man with no history of serious trouble, who they say stole an assault rifle from an acquaintance and set off alone on a deadly rampage. We do not understand the motive of this attack. Except to say that there's no apparent relationship between the suspect and his victims. Hannah Sandsburn doesn't understand either. The person I knew would have never, ever done anything like this. Not in a million years. In an interview with ABC News, the shooter's ex-girlfriend told us she has no idea what could have triggered the sudden and brutal attack. This was the last thing I would have ever expected. Especially from him. He was just too... Sweet. Never mean to anybody. She says just last week, the guy she knew as fun-loving and non-violent suddenly quit his job at a Greek deli and sold all of his belongings, telling her he was leaving Portland and moving to Hawaii. He had his plane ticket, he was ready to go, and then this happened, and it just makes me think if Hawaii was even in the back of his mind. Nothing like the calculated killer. Police say stormed one of Portland's most popular shopping malls, killing 54-year-old hospice nurse Cindy Ann Ewell, who was Christmas shopping, and 45-year-old Stephen Forsyth, a father of two who ran a business in the mall, and wounding 15-year-old Christina Shevchenko, now in the hospital. Columbine, Virginia Tech, Aurora, in each of those rampages, the killers sent signals their lives had gone off course. This time, no sign of trouble. This afternoon, the woman who raised Roberts released this picture of a once happy little boy and asked her friend to read a statement. She has no understanding or explanation for her son's behavior. She's very sad and wants everyone to know she is so sorry what Jake did, and it's so out of his character. Police are now running down search warrants on the shooter's home and car, trying to get at his frame of mind. So far, despite everything we know from friends and family, there is just no good explanation as to what set him off. Diane? Neil Karlinski, our thanks to you. And as we said, we've gone back to track what happened minute by minute at the mall. Who fled in terror and how so many managed to survive? And with that now is ABC's David Wright. Today we learn just how cold-blooded the killer was. Police say Roberts made a beeline from his car in the parking lot through Macy's, carrying an AR-15 semi-automatic assault rifle. He wore a ballistics vest packed with ammo and a hockey-style face mask. He entered the mall on the upper level. By the time he got to the food court, he was already firing, killing Cindy Ann Yule and Stephen Forsyth. He shot down into the lower level courtyard too, hitting Kristina Shevchenko, now in the hospital. Then his gun jammed. Police say Roberts bolted down a flight of stairs, got his rifle working again, and killed himself near J.C. Penney's. This was a heartbreaking tragedy by any standard. But today everyone agreed it was a miracle only two people were killed. Experts say in a situation like this, the most important thing is to make yourself less of a target. Run away or find cover, preferably behind something hard. The best being a freestanding ATM or a mailbox. Get behind that because those are very hard services. The mall Santa dove to the floor. I know everybody else ran. Well, to me, running is a target. A big red target right here, Chris. That was my thought. I said, you know, I'm a, I'm a real good target. The mall had an emergency lockdown procedure designed for situations like this. From people who survived cases like this, you'll find that they reacted quickly. They realized it was an emergency and they reacted. Quick reactions that clearly saved lives. David Wright, ABC News, Clackamas, Oregon.